Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the Freedom Rides. And we have a participant in the Freedom Rides that occurred in May of 1961, uh, Mr. Rip Patton. And of course, Mr. Patton, let me uh, welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. And to tell you how delighted we are to have you here, uh, Mr. Patton, and to uh, talk about one of the events in American history that very, very few people are aware of, and uh, to know that you uh, actually participated mm -hmm. uh, in these uh, so-called freedom rides uh, during that uh, period in, 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 in uh, 1961. And we want to talk about that and to uh, give our audience some impressions in terms of uh, some of your experiences okay. uh, there. But before we do that, uh, Mr. Patton, let's have you to uh, talk about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in your life that eventually led you to uh, where we are today. Okay, well, I'm a Nashvilleian born here in Nashville, Tennessee. I attended the public school here, uh, head school, old head, mm -hmm. uh, then over to Fort Greene, mm -hmm. Pearl Elementary, mm -hmm. and then into Washington Junior High Pearl and on to Tennessee State. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was a music ed education major mm -hmm. and played, I'm a, what you call an aristocrat. Mm -hmm. A member of the aristocrat band. Uh, oh, aristocrat very band very in the good. percussion section mm -hmm. uh, under the tutelage of uh, Frank T. Greer. Good. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't make them like mm -hmm. that anymore. I know. Uh, good. They don't uh -huh. make them like yeah, that anymore. I knew Mr. Greer. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, from there, uh, of course, in the 60s, late 50s, uh, mm -hmm. we started with the sit-ins. Mm -hmm. And I was a participant in the sit-ins. I was one of the few that did not get arrested mm -hmm. in the sit-ins. Mm -hmm. uh, I attended all the workshops and uh, basically was a runner. Mm -hmm. in the sit-ins. Uh, okay. When they would fill up the counters and they'd mm -hmm. take them to jail, then I was one of those persons that would go back to the church or mm -hmm. and let them know that we needed more people to mm -hmm. sit in. Mm -hmm. And I uh, participated in that and all the way up to the Freedom Ride. Mm -hmm. And I got involved in the Freedom Ride because I think the whole Nashville group got involved because one of our own was mm -hmm. a part of that, mm -hmm. the original Freedom Ride, which was John Lewis. Mm -hmm. Uh, he started in Washington, D.C. with the free, with the original mm -hmm. Freedom Ride. Mm -hmm. And he stayed on that Freedom Ride until it reached Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And after that, he got off because mm -hmm. he was uh, had uh, taken some classes to go to the Foreign Service. Mm -hmm. And that's how he missed that Anderson or Birmingham. I don't know exactly mm -hmm. which bus he was on. Mm -hmm. But we were monitoring the mm -hmm. Freedom Ride from the beginning, mm -hmm. from Washington, mm -hmm. D.C., which started on May 6th. Mm -hmm. And uh, so John came back to Nashville. Mm -hmm. And as you know, the burning of the bus and the incident in Birmingham, that happened on Mother's Day, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, May 14th. And I guess John decided not to go to the Foreign Service. He had passed all the tests, mm -hmm. had his airline tickets and everything. Mm -hmm. And he was a part of the first group to leave Nashville. Mm -hmm. Now, you might ask, why would you take part in the Freedom Ride when mm -hmm. the person, Jim Farmer, who was one who set up the Freedom Ride, who mm -hmm. put this whole thing together, uh, advised the Nashville group not to continue mm -hmm. because of the burning of the bus in mm -hmm. Anniston and uh, the uh, incident that happened in Birmingham where they picked up one of the riders and just mm -hmm. threw him to the back of the bus and he is mm -hmm. paralyzed today. Mm -hmm. And uh, Diane Nash talked to Jim Farmer. Mm -hmm. When they left Anniston and Birmingham, they went to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And she talked to him, and he advised her not to send anybody else mm -hmm. on the Freedom Ride. It was mm -hmm. just too dangerous. Mm -hmm. Before we get into that, this concept of the Freedom Ride itself, mm -hmm. who came up with that idea, and uh, 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 what really prompted a belief that you could do that? Well, I mean, where they, you say the original Freedom Riders. I mean, who were these individuals? Did, did they come up with the original idea of, uh, of doing it? James that? Farmer. Uh -huh. He was uh, the director of CORE, C-O-R-E, mm -hmm. uh, Congress of Racial Equality. Mm -hmm. And he came, I think he was the one that came up with that idea. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the and idea... He put a team uh, together uh -huh. of... I think it was six blacks, mm -hmm. six whites, mm -hmm. and they were testing the facilities in the uh, Greyhound and Trailway mm -hmm. bus terminal. Mm -hmm. 
according to the federal law, you were able, you should be able to use the facilities, mm -hmm. but they were testing the law to mm -hmm. make sure that that's the way it mm -hmm. was, that you mm -hmm. could actually use these facilities. And there was quite a bit of opposition at all of it throughout in reference to this. Moment. Well, the opposition came, I think, as we know, in Anderson and, mm -hmm. and Birmingham. Okay, and I, and I tell you what we'll do, uh, Mr. Patton, we're getting ready for our first commercial break. When we come back, we'll give you an opportunity to uh, take that second segment and to uh, simply develop this idea about uh, those individuals who participated, including okay. yourself. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Hi. The guest is Mr.